What's up guys, Justin here with the Real Time Essentials. So, so in today's video, we're gonna check out the free stuff in the Unreal Engine Marketplace for April of this year. Let's go ahead and just jump into it. All right, so first off, I apologize. I will get to next month's stuff sooner in the month than the 25th. But to find April stuff, you can go to the Unreal Engine Marketplace. So just go to unrealengine.com and go to Marketplace and click on Browse. And then from there, you can go to the free tab under free for the month. That's going to have the April free stuff. So this one in particular is interesting because it's uh, basically all asset packs at this point. But the first one we're gonna take a look at is the Real Food and Coffee Bakery. So this is a super detailed scene that contains like photo scan food models and decoration models and other things like that. And um, it's just like super detailed, super high quality. And so for that one, you're basically going to have to, I believe, create a project on that one. So it's a complete project, but then you can open it up inside of Unreal Engine. Within Unreal Engine, it's gonna create a folder called VR Real Food. And um, if you wanna explore what's contained in there, you can go to the VP Coffee Bakery and just open up the VP Coffee Bakery scene and just open up the VP Coffee Bakery level. And so if we take a look at this, right, if we fly around in here and I'm going to adjust my camera speed down a little bit, um, but you can see how the models that are in here are just ultra detailed, right? They're like photo scanned models. You can access each one of them individually. You can move them around. Um, the bread models are also ultra detailed. And so you get access to all of these different models as well as you've got these other models in here as well, like the wood boxes. Um, you've got the um, You've got the text on the walls, other things like that. So it's just a ultra detailed, really great looking scene um, with assets that you could reuse for other things in the future. So um, you've got that in here. You can also take a look, if you go back to like the real food geometry, you can see the different uh, objects that you have in here. So for example, if we look at this piece of bread, and so notice that these all have LODs set up as well. So if we were to toggle between like the LOD five and the LOD one, you can see how you're getting different levels of detail in here. So if we were to take a look at like our wireframe, for example, of our LOD5 versus our LOD0, notice how one of them is a lot denser than the others. So these do have the LODs set up um, for these models. All right, so next we've got the modular concert stage. And so this one is basically gonna be a collection of different objects that you can use in order to create different concert style stages. So um, if you're doing any kind of like stage setup or anything like that, this could actually be a really good tool for that. Um, so it's going to come with uh, some different assets that you can use for like your different truss pieces and your stage pieces, other things like that. They do also have some documentation in a video right here. Um, so they've got some additional information in here on how to use that, but you get 97 meshes on that one. But if you do any kind of stage stuff or anything like that, this could be a good fit for that. Um, so next we've got the modular medieval houses. So this is going to basically be a asset pack that contains a number of different things you can use in order to create medieval houses. So this is one that you can download and you can start creating those houses inside of Unreal Engine. Um, they actually look really good. So um, when you download that, for example, if you go to the medieval environment and you go to medieval houses volume two maps, um, you can actually open up the demo scene level and take a look at this. This gives you a good idea of what's possible with this particular asset pack. All right, so you can see this is actually a really detailed scene with actually some really super cool mountains in the background. And so all of these assets that are in this scene have been constructed with the assets in this pack. And so there's actually a bunch of really detailed stuff contained inside of this particular asset pack. And so if you wanna see everything that's contained in this pack, you can just go to the MH02 overview. That's going to give you an overview of everything that's contained inside of it. All right, so if we fly through this, you can see that there's both pre-built buildings in here, as well as the different building blocks that they've used in order to create those buildings, right? So you've got different roofs, um, you've got the different beams and supports, as well as different uh, wall openings and other things like that. So if you do wanna build your own, um, this is going to contain all the assets that you need in order to create medieval houses. All right, so next we've got the low poly medieval interior and constructions pack. So this is gonna come with a ton of different assets, including like walls and floors, barrels, basically all those things that you might uh, that you might need in order to create that kind of like low poly style interior. So I always kind of enjoy the low poly style. If you are working in that style, this could be a good fit for that. And so there's a number of different demo scenes you can open up. So like for example, you can open the overall map and that's gonna show you all the assets that are contained inside of here. Um, notice how from a detail level standpoint, it does look completely different 
than the exteriors pack, but this is built for more of like a low poly type game. So you've got this where you can see all of the different parts and pieces, or you can also um, jump into the different levels and see what these might look like if they're actually created in here. So notice these have like the lens flares and the lighting all set up, as well as some different effects, right? Some like low poly fire, other things like that. So really interesting pack if you are creating a low poly medieval style game. All right, and then we've also got the modular neighborhood pack. So this is a number of different assets that, is, that are gonna allow you to build like a current looking neighborhood. So this is gonna have more like modular house pieces, like floor segments and wall pieces, other things like that. There's a bunch of other props that are contained as well. So this is a pretty complete pack um, when you're trying to create these modular neighborhoods. So if we jump over and take a look at this inside of Unreal Engine, it's got a demo scene that's basically a complete neighborhood in here that's been built with these assets. So you can see how we've got the different pools, we've got uh, all this different stuff for creating these neighborhoods. So if you fly inside, there's not a ton of stuff going on, though uh, this would be a good place to kind of demonstrate Lumen. Um, we're not going to worry too much about that for right now, but um, you could definitely do that. But you can see how um, there's a ton of different houses that are in here. So you could either reuse the existing houses or kind of build your own. So if you want to see kind of an overview, you can load the overview level. That's going to show you everything that's contained inside of this. And so you can see how you've got the different roofs as well as the different walls that you can use to build these houses. But you've got other things in here as well. So you've got the different stairs. But then if you look at this, you've also got some things that you can use in order to build out the interiors. So um, these house props include things like beds. Um, we've also got some different couches, fireplaces, um, a lot of stuff that you can use in order to build out houses. So if you are looking to build out a scene with any kind of like modern houses and just kind of a neighborhood, this is a complete collection that you can use in order to do that. All right, and then I don't know if you'd consider this kind of like honorable mention, but um, for this month, you've also got access. If you get an Unreal Engine 5 under the game samples, you can download the Lyra starter game. We'll get into this more in a separate video. So Lyra is basically the sample gameplay game that they rolled out with Unreal Engine 5. So when Unreal Engine 5 came out, they wanted to come, they, they wanted to roll out a resource that allowed people to kind of like learn how things are built. So you can download this and follow along with that. You can actually adjust adjust this, make your own games, or just use it to kind of learn how everything comes together. So um, when you open it up, it's going to be pretty simple. You're just going to click on the play button right here. And I don't think this records very well. I think it gets kind of clunky. But basically what you can do is you can click the play button and then you can go pick these different game types, right? So like Elimination, for example, you can actually play the game inside of Unreal Engine. So this is all ready to go and you can just kind of jump in here and start playing. So it's like a full on game experience that you can then customize. And so we're just going to drop back out of that. And that game does come with a number of different tools, which again, we'll look at a little bit more in a separate video, but it's got tools for like procedurally creating things like walls and openings. So you can adjust like, uh, you can adjust like uh, opening sizes and wall heights, other things like that. So you can adjust the width, the thickness. So there's tools in here you can use in order to quickly like build out a game um, or at least prototype out a game using the tools that you've that they've given us. All right, so leave a comment below. Let me know what you thought about April's assets. As always, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this and I will catch you in the next video. Thanks guys.